welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda. I hope you're having a great day or day of your choice. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and I hope Black Friday did not break the bank. If you had bank for Black Friday, but I never do. I never have any money for Black Friday, but that's okay because there's still a bunch of sales later on anyway. Um, Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell down below. That'd be super cool. Today, I'm going to be using a palette for the first time from Huda Booty. It's the Empowered Palette. I got it as my beauty boost from my Ipsy box in November, which is this month. And look how beautiful that is. It's dark neutrals. It's got some warm colors. It's got some cool colors. It's got some pops of purple and gold. And I'm going to make a look with it to go with my dynamic hair and my cool black sweater and stuff, stuff. So this is really, really beautiful. And this has like, like a gel, like a little gel to it. It's like a bronze, it's like a creamy bronze. That's pretty. That's interesting. I'm gonna start with Rebel and then this worthy color is a cream color too. And so is Purpose. So those are interesting dark creamy colors. And we'll see what I can do with this palette. Very exciting. I'm very excited to be making a look. I'm going to go into Rebel here. I've got, you know, my base and my brows and my blush and my bronzer on. And, ah, oh, that's beautiful. A little darker than I expected. Uh, but we will spread it around. Blend it out. It's really pretty. I'm going to dive in. That looks really cool. And I've got hooded eyes, so I consider this a hooded eye tutorial and a brand new, and this is not a brand new, like on the market palette, but it is new to me and it is paying off with lots of pigment. Very cool. So we've got the crease taken care of. A little kick up, but not too much. And now I'm going to go into... It's hard to say. I'm going to go into uh, Legacy, which is like a darker nude. A darker nude, darling. Look at that. It's so pretty. This makes me wish I had a good, light, nude lip, but I'm not going to go. I'm going to go dark with a lip. Going dark. I just hate how my eyes are so different. If you've watched me before, you know that my eyes are different sizes and the area around them is different shapes. So that makes it hard to blend and get even results on each side. And I am not a makeup artist, as you could imagine. I am 
just a makeup enthusiast. But this is still very pretty. Legacy is doing the damn thing. I'm now going to go into bold moves with my finger. It is a shimmer. It is a pale gold. It is very creamy. That looks great. And when I got my finger in there, it really smushed it around. going on like butter. That is really pretty. It makes my eyes pop. These colors are making my green eyes go crazy. Crazy for feeling so lovely. I'm just making up words to old songs now. Um, but look how much I swoosh that. <laughs> that color, it's kind of, it is kind of crazy. I'm going to try uh, worthy this little creamy dark color and put that on the outside corner a little bit. That's cool. Add a little depth without it going crazy. I feel like I got a lot of control with that that cream color. I think that's good. Empowered. We like it. I'm liking this palette. I like this look. I'm going to blend this out a little bit more. That looks better. Now I'm going to take some black eyeliner from Stila Slay All Day Waterproof. I'm going to do a little bit of a line. Uh, it's not really showing up. It's not working on this gold very well. Not so good. Maybe if I have a pencil, a black pencil. Is this a black pencil? No. Do I have a black pencil? Do I? But do I? Oh, this is my Victoria Beckham gray pencil that I got for Christmas a while back. I will not work with this, but that is good to know that's where it is. I think I'm just going to let it go unlined and just put some mascara on. And I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics mascara. I love this little mini. It's so good. It really does a great job lengthening my lashes. It's always so hard to talk and do mascara. I'm getting it done. And you know, I have a lot of nude palettes, but not like this one. It's a little different with the cream shadows and having the darker colors. It's a beautiful addition to my nude palette collection. That looks cool. Yeah. All right. Groovy. I feel like I need a highlighter. I'm going to get into my Dennis and Myricks light work palette. And I'm going to go into common sense or smooth sailing. Let me get a little highlighter brush. I think I'm gonna go into common sense. There we go.
little on the tip, a little on the chin. That's a great highlight palette. It's been out for a while, but it's beautiful. And that just added such a nice little shimmer. I like it. And for my lip, I'm going to use Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in number 50 Voyager. I love this color. Almost. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's blot. Look, keep a bow, never hurt anybody. I'm going to get a little Q-tip to clean up the edges. Hmm. I think the bottom lip needs a little bit of love. fucked up. Oh lordy. I need to put some more foundation on now. You can see the trials and tribulations of having a big scar on your lip. It is crazy. Maybe a little concealer. Just a teeny touch. And a little concealer brush. That's good. Magical. So, we now have a finished look and I'm very excited about how everything's turned out. I hope you have a great day or day of choice and thanks for sticking with me to this end. And this has been me with the Empowered Palette from Huda Booty. Huda Beauty, Huda Booty, whatever. It's all good. We'll see you real soon.